Welcome to the Amazon Lit Channel. Today we're talking about positivity and how to change your perception to obtain a positive outlook on life and use your experiences to benefit other people, right? What a revolutionary concept. The experiences that happen to me aren't for me, but they're for me to help other people, right? And communicating and setting goals all to obtain a better perspective on life. Smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and enjoy. What's up everybody, Eric Castellanos, Amazon Lit, here to bring you some inspiration, some motivation, and just some positivity all around, right? Because so much of my life is based on positive energy and aligning myself with the universe and just bringing positive vibes and bringing a positive ambiance when I walk into a room and, and surrounding myself with people who, who share that same positivity. It's a huge factor in why we are successful over here at Amazon Lit. It plays a huge role in the way we operate and the way we treat our employees and just the presence that we have here um, to harvest a successful business. A great question is, how do you maintain positivity? Because life has a lot of ups and downs and trials and tribulations and peaks and valleys. So it's like, what do you need to do as an individual to ensure that you're remaining positive and you have a fantastic outlook on life regardless, right? So I've been alive for 32 years, right? I just turned 32 in September. Um, tonight's actually Halloween. I do not have any kids, so I'm not out trick-or-treating. I don't drink, so I'm not at the bar whiling in some crazy costume. Uh, but I work really hard. So I'm at the office. It's about 9 p.m. Halloween, and I'm hustling, right? Filming a YouTube video. Just got finished placing an order. Um, and like positivity. So it's all about, for me, it's all about perspective, right? So I can sit here at nine o'clock on Halloween and be sad like, oh man, I don't have any kids. I, you know, I'm, I'm not married. I can't go trick or treating and enjoy that time with the kids. And I can't, I don't drink, so I'm not out there partying. Um, and I could sit here and feel sorry for myself or I could look at the positives and look at all the beautiful things I like, I, I have in life. So for me, Positivity is all about perception and the way you perceive things. So the first thing would be perception. Right, that's number one. To have a good positive outlook on, on life, it's all about how you perceive things because even in the negatives, right, because life has a lot of negatives. People get sick, people end up in hospitals, family members, friends, close relatives. Um, people die, people pass away, uh, there's, there's hardships through breakups, um, you lose friends, maybe you just stop talking to those people, right? And those are all things to, to be sad about. Right? But if you can change your perspective and switch your perception up just a little bit and be like, all right, like thank God that person was in my life because they, they opened my mind and my eyes to a whole new experience and I appreciate the time, I value the time that I have with this person, right? So it's like taking that negative and turning it into a positive allows you to grow physically, spiritually, emotionally, and it's so important to grow in those aspects of your life because all of those experiences will mold you into the person you are today. And I know for me, from my personal experience, I love the person I am today, right? And I've been through a lot of trials and tribulations and ups and downs in my life. I'm talking about the lowest of lows to now I'm experiencing some very high highs. And does that mean that I won't once again, experience some very low lows? Absolutely not, it's part of life. But if I can perceive those lows in a different way and find the positive out of those lows, then I will be able to become a better individual on this earth. And I'll be able to provide value through my experiences. And this is something else that opened up my eyes. And, and I'm actually gonna write this down. So as number two, experiences. 
right? Like how to maintain positivity through all the experiences you have in your life. And I feel that a good way, and this is tr this is tried and true, this has worked for me without a doubt. So a great way to keep and stay positive is to realize that all my experiences that happen in my life are not for me, right? You may be asking yourself like, Eric, but, but that doesn't make sense. Like, these experiences happen to me, how are they not for me, right? And it can be kind of confusing, but when you think about it, it's like your experiences, and the way you perceive these experiences can help other people. Say you lose a family member and you're real torn up about it, right? And you're like, how could this have happened to me? And you're just so sad and you're, and you're, in, you're in remorse and grief and, and there's, there's, there's hardships and there's sadness in your heart. And it's like, why did this happen to me, right? And yes, it happened to you, but it may not have happened for you. Because six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, you may cross paths with somebody who's going through the exact same experience that you went through a couple years prior, a couple months prior. And you could share your experience of how you navigated the pain of that situation. And you could share that with them and help them get through that situation. So that's what I mean when I say your experiences, they're not always for you. And when you're living in the moment, I know for me, when I'm living in the moment, it's important for me to recognize it within a couple seconds, like, hey, this experience right now, this, this really sucks, but I have, to, I have to understand that most likely this experience is, isn't for me. This experience is so I can get through it and share how I got through it with somebody else so they can get through the same experience, right? It's all about positivity and changing your perception and using your experiences to grow, once again, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. It's a game changer. So if you can change the way you perceive things and look at your experiences as not something that's for you, you could ultimately obtain a positive outlook on life you know and 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 we we use these we use these perception and experiences we use these a lot in business um and we also incorporate them into our personal lives because from our experience our personal life and our business life are very interconnected right the same way we need to build relationships in personal lives whether it's a relationship with a friend a girlfriend a boyfriend a significant other a family member like the foundation of building relationships. For me, relationships, the foundations, communication, right? Communication. We have to communicate with our significant other, with our partner, with our wives, with our husbands, with our boyfriends, with our girlfriends, with our mothers, with our fathers, with our sisters, with our brothers. We have to communicate with them like, hey, this is how I'm feeling, you know? Or, or listen, what you did yesterday hurt me. And I would appreciate it if you didn't do it again. Or, or listen, I love you deeply. We, we have to communicate the way we feel or else there's a disconnect there. And there's confusion and misunderstanding. So whenever I don't communicate with these people in my life, there's some confusion and a misunderstanding that leads to problems. 99%, 99% of my problems come from a lack of communication. Right, so the same way I incorporate open and honest communication in my personal life is the same way that over here at Amazon Lit, we allow our business to grow because we communicate, right? We get on the phone with our vendors and distributors. Hey, listen, I need this product, but I can only take it at this price. Can you do that? No, I can't do that. All right, well, listen, I'm willing to take 800 of them, but I really need them at this price. Hey, that list you sent me was great, but I really need that list with uh, case pack in it. Can you, should, can you add case pack to it? or with our Amazon Lit clients, you know, we're super transparent, we communicate. If they're messing up, if they're making mistakes, I'll let them know straight up because my main priority when communicating with our clients who are trying to grow their business is how we can make them grow. So if they're not taking the steps necessary to make their business grow, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and be like, oh, well, you're doing this, 
but you really need to be doing this. I would be like, absolutely, you need to stop doing this. What you're doing here is hurting your business. You're losing tens of thousands of dollars a month or tens of thousands of dollars a year. You need to eliminate this, eliminate this, increase this, bring on an employee here, right? And I communicate with them what the issues are and it makes it very clear what my point is. So these are just some some skill sets, some assets that I've learned over the years and and Sebastian and I, you know, we're we're very spiritual people and uh we believe the universe works in our favor when we work for the universe. So like when I say working for the universe, like what does that mean? You know, that means if if I'm I'm entering a store and there's an old lady crossing the street, I may give her a hand, right, with her bags or help her, help her cross the street or holding the door open, whether it's five, six people behind me, whether I'm in a rush or not, right? Communicating my experiences with others to help them through the trials and tribulations of life. You know, being open and honest and, and when I'm at an event, you know, maybe showing up early and staying late and being of service, helping people, right? That's how I align myself with the universe. Because I, I truly believe that this is, we're such a small, right, like this moment in time, it's probably 9.30 on October 31st. And like this moment in this time with this breath on this night in this office, I've never experienced this before, right? So how can I not be grateful for all that I have in my life when I've never experienced this moment in time? Like it's a revolutionary idea. It's a revolutionary concept when you think about it. But that's the thing. It takes, it takes you to think about it, right? We, we just don't go about our days like freely, right? There's a lot of thought involved. I know from my experience, I'm speaking from my experience here. So when I wake up every morning, I have like a, a goal that I'm trying to achieve. A few goals, right? I may have like a, a couple hour goal, right? Like what do I want to accomplish in the next couple hours? And then I have my day goals. Like what do I want to accomplish today? And then I have weekly goals. What do I need to accomplish and finish this week? Then I may have a monthly goal. Like what is a priority that I need to achieve and complete by the end of this month? And then I might have a six month goal, right? Like where, where do I see myself in six months? Then I may have a year goal, like where do I want my business, where do I want my personal life to be in a year? Right, so by setting goals, you're able to increase your positivity because you have something to look forward to and something to build for yourself. Right, so the main thing here is how to maintain positivity in all situations, right? And we do that through perception and sharing our experiences and understanding that the experiences that we have aren't always for us. Maybe they're for us to share with somebody else, right? It allows us to obtain a positive outlook on life. And we also do that through communication and setting goals. And these are just a few. I'm th this video could be five hours long. I'd probably lose a lot of you 45 minutes in, maybe even 25 minutes in, right? But like personal development, this is what this is all about. Developing yourself personally and developing yourself in all aspects of your life. Most importantly for me, mentally, which is my mind. How can I work on my mind? Physically, which is my body. Right, so it's important for me to go to the gym. It's important for me to wake up, maybe do a little yoga every morning, right? Emotionally, so like, how do I deal with my emotions? Am I projecting my emotions on other people, right? Am I constantly angry? Am I constantly sad? Am I constantly depressed? Or am I spreading positivity? And then most importantly, which kind of encompasses all three, mentally, physically, and emotionally, is spiritually. Right, like where's my soul? Like where's my soul in connection with other people in the universe? Like is it centered? Is it where I want it to be? Is it aligned with my visions and my goals for life? Because it's easy for me to get off track, right? It's easy for me to maybe start telling some small lies, right? I'm not talking huge things, but small lies. Like, hey, I'll be there at five knowing I can't get there till 5.30. Right, or oh, I'm leaving now, knowing I'm not leaving for 20 minutes. Right, just like little things like that, that affect the way I live my life every day. Affect the way I communicate with people. 
right, and affect the way I perceive the universe because I'm just this small little dot in this huge world, but I can have a huge effect on what happens in the world if I change my perception and change my behaviors just a little bit. You know, I wasn't personally, from my experience, I wasn't always a business owner. You know, I'm a COO of our Amazon business. I am co-founder of Amazon Lit and, and Avid Wholesale Group. You know, Sebastian taught me a lot about how to build a business and like the importance of surrounding yourself with people who know more than you is huge, right? And that's why we offer mentoring. But like the way I always lived my life wasn't like this, I can promise you that. In my late teens and early 20s, I had a lot of trouble and a lot of trials and tribulations that I had to go through, you know? Practically homeless. Family didn't want anything to do with me, right? I, I exiled myself from all my good friends' lives. Right? And it was a personal decision. Like I made a decision based on self to make those choices in life. Right? And the beautiful thing about that, the beautiful thing about the pain that I experienced in those early years of my life was that they molded me into the person I am today. And I love the person I am today. You know, so do not beat yourself up if you've had some trials and tribulations in your life that brought you down as an individual, because I can promise you, you can dig yourself out of that hole. It is possible. And the light on the other side of that tunnel, the, the, the gifts on the other side of that are so abundant and so prevalent, it will just change your whole perspective, right? Because all those experiences that I had, those negative experiences that brought me down and isolated me, I don't see them as experiences for myself, right? I use them as experiences to help others. And because I use them, those experiences to help others, it allows me to become a more well-rounded individual. And it allows me to possibly save somebody the same hardships that I had to experience. So every day I wake up, and most importantly, I, I pray and I, I thank the God of my understanding. We'll just call it a higher power. This is a routine that has changed my life, revolutionized the way I live, allowed me to be successful and harvest relationships and, and be one with myself and be one with this world. So I start my mornings off with prayer and meditation, right? And some days longer than others. But for me, it's usually a couple minutes of prayer, a couple minutes of meditation. Right? And I get myself centered for the day because the second my hand hits that doorknob is when life hits, right? Because in my home, I can be who I want to be. But the second my hand hits that doorknob and I walk out the door and the sun hits my eyes, like I am now in this world with hundreds of thousands of other people. So how am I going to behave when I get into traffic? Right? How am I going to behave when that guy cuts me off on Route 80? You know, I'm going to be loving and tolerant or I'm going to give him the finger. Right? If I hit my knees in the morning and I'm, and I'm spiritually fit to go about going through my day, then most likely I'm going to show love and tolerance. I'm not going to give him the finger. I'm not going to roll down my window and curse at him. I'm not going to throw my coffee on his car. Right? Are those things that I've done in the past when I lived a different lifestyle? Absolutely. That was me. Discontent with life. And it was always your fault. But that's not how I live anymore. Because I've changed my perception. I've changed the way I perceive things, right? Like not everything in life is bad. You can perceive it as bad, but I promise you from my experience, there's a lot more good in this world than there is bad. I know that for a fact. So if you could incorporate these things in your life, I can guarantee you whether it, you're trying to go back to school, whether you're trying to build a family, whether you're trying to grow a relationship with a significant other, whether you're trying to build a business, whether you're trying to get in a re relationship with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or you're trying to get engaged, or you're trying to get closer to your family um, and, 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 and feel that connection with your father or your mother or your brother or your sister who you've lost touch with. I guarantee you that if you incorporate these things that we talked about tonight into your life, you will have a much better perception and a much better outlook on life. I can promise you that, right? So give it a try. And worst case scenario, it doesn't work. 
I can promise you that you will not become a worse individual if you try these things and they don't work. Right? They never made me a worse person. Whenever I took a suggestion from somebody about growing personally and enhancing my personal development, I never felt worse afterwards. Right? Maybe some of it worked, some of it didn't, but I never felt worse. Like, wow, I should have really never read that book that guy recommended, or I should have never listened to that Audible that that guy told me to listen to, or I should have never went to that team building exercise, or I should have never incorporated the um, topics that Eric talked about when he discussed changing my perception and communication and, and growing relationships and using my experiences to help others. Right, I can promise you, you won't say those things. So give it a shot. I encourage you to give it a try. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, there's tons of other opportunities out there. Try something, find something that works for you. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you had a fantastic Halloween, got tons of candy. Smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know when we're posting new videos. We love you, we appreciate you. Have a great night, stay lit.